Hey, say what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Card. I am back with another YouTube video. And as you see by the title, we are back with another NBA 2K25 My Career video today for y'all boys, man. We got the NBA Cup Western Conference quarterfinals. Man, this NBA Cup series has been crazy. It has been legendary, and it has been fun. Listen, man, um, without further ado, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash the like button, comment, subscribe to the front, to the front. You post videos every single day on the channel. We don't miss a day. Three, two, one, go. All right. There was a lot of talk in this locker room at the beginning of the season about winning the NBA Cup and using that run to turn this year into something special. The team you're playing tonight, they don't care about your, your hopes or your dreams or what any of you are, are visualizing. We lose this game we're out of the tournament before it even gets started, and the rest of the league gets the scent of blood. Uh, don't get so lost in the clouds that you trip over what's right in front of your face. You take it one possession at a time, one rotation at a time. Make the pass. Trust your teammates. Trust the work. We are not winning any trophies tonight, gentlemen. Just focus on beating the team that's in front of you. Yeah. All right? Bring it in. Win on three. One, two, three, two, three. Uh, So I feel like this was dope. This was a dope little thing to add. 2K, if you're watching, if anybody out there is watching, listen, man. Just give us a little bit more my career. I love my career. I don't care if people don't care about it. I don't care if people care about online play. Excuse me. I'm a big fan of my career, single player footage. Playing by myself, story mode, it gives me a reason to offline game. I like it and I enjoy it. Um, as you can see, our record is 22 and 2. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I played like my first 20 games and I was 20 and up. And I was getting tired, man. I was doing key games. I started doing key games, man. I had simmed the game by accident. I think what happened was I simmed the game by accident first. And then once I simmed that game, it made us lose. And then after that, I was like, man, I'm over it, bruh. Cause I mean my career is cool, like, but if I had more of a reason to like actually grind and make sure that we always win a game, then I would do it. But it doesn't affect anything if you win a lose a couple games. Like it's not gonna affect us in any way. I already broke the record for like five thousand points in first season. I'm going insane. I'm dropping. Look at look look, look how many points I have. I started this from the fourth quarter. I have fifty five points right now. Before 2K did the patch where they patched up the situation with the double my career players and then also the situation where like you was playing the whole entire game and you never sat out, bro, I was dropping 100 doing five minute quarters consistently. That's not easy, bro. You know how much you have to score per quarter? I'm scoring at least 30 some quarters because sometimes towards the end of the game, you can't make shots because your player was exhausted. So that's why they put that patch out and that player actually sits down and stuff like that. But before that, man, I was going sick, man. I was dropping 100 points a game. Now my average is like around 70. I try to drop at least 70 points per game. I'm definitely probably about to light them up for three on something crazy. Um, if you can't shoot in, in, in this 2K after going to my career, then I don't know what the hell you can do. We blowing them out as you can see, it's 48 to 92. Nobody else gets points except for me, for real, unless I get subbed out. Before, it was literally only me on the stat board. I missed that. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is when it comes to this micro shit, man. It's cool. I just wish there was more story. I always think of like a 2K19 story. I try to go on there and, and play it for y'all boys, but you have to have online for it. And it'll just let you play the base model without like playing with the actual story connected to it. Uh, so because of that, I couldn't get it done. But I think about that Shanghai story. I think he was playing with the Mad Ants. You worked your way up from overseas to the Mad Ants to the NBA. But I remember you had like went to the carnival with that girl, which was a dope cut scene. I remember you had um, played at that barn. You was playing basketball at the barn, which is crazy because I actually played basketball in real life at this place called the barn, which was dope. Um, it was just very, very intricate cutscenes and things that I wish I was doing gaming content at that time to be able to deliver to y'all boys and, and express it and talk about it. So 2K, if you're watching, if there's anything I can say for all, all the sakes of the My Career people out there, My Career has only dropped in viewership because there's not that much good story. If more good stories was put into it and more time was put into it, I feel like it would be a great mode again and maybe figure out a way to monetize off it because i know that's what everything's about 
I wouldn't mind paying for, you know, hey, if you want the full and in-depth my career story, you got to pay an extra $10. Like, I don't know what y'all got to do, man. But listen, my career, don't let it die. I know online gameplay makes you the most money, but, man, I love my career. I really, really do. I truly, truly do. And it's dope, man. For all the people who just want to get online and just want to hoop and they don't care about what comes with it, to let those people buy the base game and go online and... Don't care about my career, but for somebody like me, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a bucket. I'm trying to have a reason to get a bucket. I'm trying to, you feel me? I'm trying to have the point where, like when they introduced the girlfriends and stuff, I feel like it was dope, but then you never see your girlfriend at a game. I feel like that's a key moment. So things like that, like I'd be interested in like how real, how real life they can make it. Like I remember one time, um, uh, 2K16, when they was like, oh yeah, this is Freak's first time playing home since he's been in the NBA and I played against the Brooklyn Nets and I was like really let down by the fact that there was not like no cut scene showing my parents in the crowd like there was no Vic in the crowd there was no CC in the crowd like they didn't show nothing you just hopped into the game and it was like this is a very important game little small details like that you could put the celebrities on the sideline you could definitely put my parents and things like that just things like that to make the game feel more alive 2k has been working they ain't been doing anything bro I see the potato bag chips all over the arena, empty cans on the ground, stuff like that. I see these types of things. You guys can do it. I know you can. Focus on different types of crowd. There's different type of people out here who play the game a different way that aren't my team players or, you know what I'm saying, online 3v3 my part players. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all boys for all the support. Without further ado, I will see you in the next one. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here.